abusive relationships. What is a relationship abuse? Relationship abuse is a pattern of behavior used to establish power and control over another person through fear, intimidation, and power. It often includes the threat or use of violence. Abuse occurs when one person believes that he or she is entitled to control another. It is an effective method of gaining and keeping control, and there are usually no adverse consequences for the perpetrator of the abuse. Either partner can be the abuser, but the overwhelming majority of relationship violence is perpetrated by men against women. When the abuse occurs with an intimate relationship, such as marriage, dating, or family, the abuse is often referred to as domestic violence. You can see here a healthy relationship will. Equality is present and around equality is non-threatening behavior, respect, trust and support, honesty, responsible parenting, shared responsibility, economic partnership, fairness. All relationships exist on a spectrum, from healthy to abusive, to somewhere in between. Below, behaviors are outlined that occur in healthy, unhealthy, and abusive relationships. Healthy, both partners are engaging in open communication, respecting opinions and boundaries, trusting, honest, equal, enjoying personal time, viewing finances as partnership. Unhealthy, one or both partners are not talking or fighting, not being considerate of opinions and boundaries, doesn't believe their partner, misrepresenting the truth, feeling their desires or choices are more important, limiting social support, feeling financial insecurity. Abusive, one partner is hurtful, threatening, insulting or demeaning, disrespecting feelings, thoughts, decision, opinions or physical safety, physically hurting or injuring the other, blaming their partner for harmful actions, excuses abusive action and or minimizes abusive behavior, pressuring or forcing their partner to do things they don't want to do, controlling or isolating partner's social supports, controlling finances. This is power and control wheel. The power and control wheel helps to link the different behaviors that together form a pattern of violence and shows how the violence is maintained through psychological abuse. It shows the relationship as a whole and demonstrates how each seemingly unrelated behavior is an important part in an overall effort to control. Following the violence wheel later, we are going to explain each abusive behavior. Around this power and control are intimidation, verbal attacks, isolation, minimizing, denying and blaming, using loved ones, abusing authority, economic control, coercion and threats. Intimidation, making the partner afraid by using looks, actions, gestures, smashing things like punching holes in walls, destroying or giving away her property, abusing pets or sometimes killing them, displaying weapons. Verbal attacks or emotional abuse, putting him or her down, not taking responsibility for one's own actions. Name calling, playing mind games, humiliating the person, making him or her feel guilty. Example, calling him or her prideful if he or she does not agree or comply. Isolation, controlling what he or she does, who the partner sees and talks to, 
what he or she reads, and where the partner goes, limiting the partner's outside involvement, excessive possessiveness, using jealousy to justify actions, sexual jealousy, and unfounded accusations of affairs, minimizing, denying, and blaming, making light of the abuse and not taking his or her concerns about it seriously, saying the abuse didn't happen, shifting responsibility for abusive behavior, saying the abuse caused it, using loved ones, making the partner feel guilty about the children, using the children to relay messages, interfering with visitation, threatening to take the children away, abusing authority or spiritual abuse, treating the partner like a servant, acting like the king or queen of the castle, being the one to define men's and women's roles, demanding obedience, claiming superior righteousness, example because of the priesthood or having served a mission, making all the decisions, demanding forgiveness, telling partner you don't have the spirit, saying that a temple marriage must be saved at all costs, telling him or her that they are prideful if they do not agree or comply. Economic control, preventing the partner from getting or keeping a job, making the partner ask for money, giving her an allowance with no participation in developing a budget, taking her money, not letting the partner have access to family income. Coercion and threats, making and or carrying out threats to do something to hurt the partner, threatening to leave the partner, to commit suicide, to report the person to welfare, threatening to make a false accusation, making him or her do illegal things. Abuse tends to escalate. It often begins with threats and intimidation that may escalate to physical abuse. Finally, it may become like life-threatening with serious behavior such as choking, breaking bones, or the use of weapons. So physically assaultive behavior. Physical abuse often begins with what is excused as trivial contact that escalate, escalates, as mentioned earlier, into more frequent and serious attacks. It might include any of the following. Restraining, pushing, pinching, slaps and punches, kicks, biting, tripping, throwing, choking, severe shaking, burns, stabbing, mutilation, breaking bones, gunshot wounds. Is your relationship abusive? The following questions can help you determine whether your own relationship has characteristics of abuse. Has your loved one embarrassed or made fun of you in front of your friends or family? Humiliated you in a private or public? Withheld approval, appreciation or affection as punishment? Put down your accomplishment or goals? Continually criticized you, called you names or shouted at you? Ignored your feelings regularly? Made you feel like you are unable to make decisions? Ridiculed or insulted your most valued beliefs, your religion? race or social class, used intimidation or threats to gain compliance, told you that you are nothing without him, Tre treated you roughly, robbed, pushed, pinched, showered or hit you, wrestled with you, wrestling with you, at least a legal license for free touching and at the most a sign of a desire to dominate you called or texted you several times a night or shown up to make sure you are where you said you would be. Been very jealous, harassed you about imagine unfaithfulness, blamed you for how their feelings or actions, insulted or driven away your friends or family, prevented you from doing things you want like spending time with your friends or family, manipulated you with lies, insisted you lose weight or dress the way your partner wants, used drugs or alcohol as an excuse for saying hurtful things or abusing you, pressured you sexually for things you aren't ready for, 
raped you or subjected you to other violent or degrading non-consensual sexual acts, tried to keep you from living after a fight or left you somewhere of, uh, after a fight to teach you a lesson, taken car keys or money away, made you feel like there is no way out of the relationship, threatened to commit suicide if you leave, subjected you to reckless driving, thrown objects at you, abused pets to hurt you, punch, shoved, slapped, beat, kick, choke, or hit you? Have you sometimes felt scared of how he will act? Have you constantly made excuses to other people for his behavior? Have you believed that you could help him change if you only change something about yourself? Have you tried not to do anything that would cause conflict or make him angry? Have you felt like no matter what you do, he is never happy with you? Have you always done what he wants you to do instead of what you want? Have you stayed with him because you were afraid of what he would do if you broke up? Please remember that help is available 